Hello again, welcome back to the channel. It's Digifox. Today we're going to be talking about Quant. Q-N-T is the ticker symbol and why you should actually own some of it. We're going to get some TA involved. We're going to go ahead and give a little a spiel on it and what they do and who they're partnered with. Um, but this is something that you really need to look into, right? So again, not financial advice. We are not financial advisors. Having said here is 100% our opinion. Right, so here we are on the page and we are on quant.network on their partners page. And what you can see here is they are trying to empower and interconnect the world, right? It is expected to grow to $39.7 billion by 2025. And they are referring to the blockchain market and they want a slice of that pie, a rather large slice of it. And so what they're trying to do is become the API gateway for everything really, right? Everything that's finance, which that would include everything, right? Everything runs on money, right? And they also have a partnership with Oracle. Oracle is going to be your data collection, um, company they are on the stock market i don't i'm not going to pull up their stock price or anything of that nature because it's irrelevant currently right now um but they have partnerships also with Chainlink, so that needs to be said and of course with you know apple and uh weather channels and all kinds of stuff right they provide data information they are the kings of api and so they are trying to compete not compete but rather uh be the api for blockchain technology that's what they're trying to do right so web3 essentially and then we see here, if we scroll down, they partner with UST. They've also partnered with Circle, the fintech company behind USDC. That is a major partnership. And then if we look over here, right here, what does this say right over here? CBDCs. So this is going to be a centralized token, essentially, if not sooner than definitely later. And they will be catering to financial institutions. Now. This is why we are getting behind it because financial institutions, we all know, have money. And they also indicate that they provide security and resilience. Now, how is it that they do that? Well, if you look to the left over here, programmability. The whole thing behind CBDCs is the fact that they will be able to program money. They can print off as much as they want, as less as they want, and they can actually uh, affect how individuals use their money. And so that's how they get security, resilience, and right above programmability is adaptability, which if you're able to program it on the fly, guess what? It's pretty freaking adaptable, is it not? But that's not what we're here for to talk about Quant. You're probably not an institution listening to me. You're probably an individual investor like us. So Quant is currently trading at $122 with a market cap of $1.7 billion. And there's only, ladies and gentlemen, 14 million tokens, 14.5, uh, 14.6, 14 apologies. So why is it that we believe this is going to go to the moon? Well, it's all time high was $400, uh, a little bit more than that. And so you're wondering like, well, what's going to happen? You know, like it's still jig jagging all the way through for the past two years. Well, unfortunately, if it does take a dip, it is going to give access to individuals that have cash on the side to collect as many of these as they want. Because here is the price target, ladies and gentlemen. We did a Fibonacci retracement, and this is going to be conservative, meaning that this is almost going to be uh, guaranteed. And that guarantee is $660, ladies and gentlemen. So if you buy it right now and you hold, because if you see right here, it's already having a death cross on the daily chart, right? And if, if you watched our previous video, you'll see that the S&P 500 as well as Bitcoin is going to potentially drop off. If that drops off, this is going to drop off twice as fast, maybe even three times as faster. And we have some levels that are, need to be said, right? So one level is going to be around the $100 level. The next level is going to be down here, right? Because there's essentially nothing in this area whatsoever holding it for support. So once it passes the $100 level, it's... Of, well, oh, sorry, take that back. We've got a 70. I apologize, 70. So we have three levels. These are the three levels that you need to be working off. And this is just a random line. Uh, it's not really measured out correctly. I just eyeballed it. So I'm looking at the bottom of this right here. And I'm looking at this support right here. And then this support right here. That's what I'm looking at. If you're curious as to what exactly I was looking at, rather than just drawing lines and doing tic-tac-toe on this chart. Um, <clears throat> 
but it is going down. It is rolling over currently where we are. I do suspect that we will be visiting the $50 region for QNT, at which point you better back up that truck and, truck and load up because if it goes down to $50, ladies and gentlemen, and this is where the 10X will come in because I'm going to post that in the thumbnail and you're going to be like, wait a minute, uh, $122 to roughly $600 is not 10X. No, it's not. You will actually be buying at the top uh, within today's date, right? But if you wait for it to come all the way down to $60, 60 to 600 that's a 10x. And that is conservative, ladies and gentlemen. The reason I say it's conservative because if you look right here at this pump, and if we are to use the same exact pump that we had experienced in 2021, which is going to be this one right here, that managed to go all the way up to the 2.618 level in the Fibonacci retracement. And if it does so do that, which it is possible because of the clientele that Quant is trying to cater to, which means there's a lot of money involved, that is a $1,000 QNT. So think about the return on that, right? $50, $60, you dollar cost averaging in roughly around this range right here, right? The $50, $60 range. That's gonna be one of the lowest points. That is going to be one of the bottoms of the bottoms, if not the bottom of QNT. You could definitely take some profit when it hits 10X. And then when it goes a little bit further, uh, I believe that's, what is that? Like a 12X, 14X, if it goes to 1041. So there you go. I would say that if we come up in this region right here in the middle, start taking profits heavily, which is going to be the eight to $900 region. Don't get greedy. Do not be greedy. I repeat, do not be greedy. You do not want to be greedy on QNT because this is institutional coinage right here. Quant. If institutions are going to be involved, they will play mind games and artificial intelligent games with you on your coins and drive you psychologically mad to the point of you wanting to sell. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. They will play with your heart and they will smile doing it while you sell them all your tokens. So with that said, that is our 10x gem and it is going to be a conservative guaranteed 10x if, if. It goes down to the $56 range. And additionally, if you buy there, not financial advice. Happy days, happy trading. Good luck to every single one of you.